I guess verbatim decided to not have the timer ready for me today, so I have to use my phone. Okay. Um, awesome. Just before I start, everyone can hear me right. Yesterday I was having some issues audio wise. Cool, cool, cool. Nate, you here? Wonderful. All right, I'm gonna get started then. <clears throat> My writer is a ghost who is haunted and haunts the words, maneuvers, speech, strategy, structure, and language of the Phantom Menace. The Ghost Rider is not a lone wolf. There are many a public enemy. So let me spill the tea that I feel taste, smells, and or looks like blood. As allies fail to prevent the death of humans, they draw blood from consenting donors who sustain life with the walking blood banks. Blood is an assemblage which is deployed to solidify the organ of the world's water racial standards, put sentient beings into the categories of ally and or enemy. These parts combine sustain employer and geopolitical planning, which shall be dubbed as blood logistics. Grove in 2019, IR marshals the blood solely through the pathways of jar, first request unification triad, full and city people, punishing strong lines and eight constant political. There's no obvious merchant, first legislative history, and first seal rock, drop the black, but the reference to one drop off of the cultural ration, but also downstream blood transfer, genetics, and genetics, and management, but for the world of effort. The university is allies that an arbitrary standard of notoriety for students which normalize the constraint of black imagination as an academic king called the friend trans black student station in a side space outside the classroom. Black students are forced to interrogate the robot task. The allies never challenge to interrogate themselves. Instead, the university can well drop in black imagination, just for urgent for the offer of pleasure. Many one twenty since I have been punished for exploring my voice, speaking straight down, keeping the team. I've sent the rule book. I just want to be good enough to pass my last voice. It's exhausting. I thought my girl really mad for regrets to hide me. Lost campaigns on me. They are with any different answers. Turn that came with the university. I'll see that I met first. I was the class 12 since I've been over to Europe. My only only issue part of the movie about the eight of consumed my savings supporters and supporters, those who should be never tearing themselves off, which I have given defense because I knew they were going to be down with my allies. We used to take me up with their own benefit. I just uh, want to live by uh, one of my thoughts because I suppose we outside these same institutions. I said, I said, once you should arrive from the before me, can you be out of a jacket with your mind? If I will find my own language and where they're really on the more I think that will never come out more. Steve, first, you'll live by a bad day. She wrote back how it's a little bit about that. I suppose once I no longer enjoy myself, dreams, deferred dreams, different. And the time of reckoning is now. The allies will fail to recognize the IDs that are deployed within the battlefield around them because the elite are distracted by the pandemic and they are rushing to defend monuments of their own power. Are all because stability has been maintained by both uh, disease and a calculus of expandability that requires five people to endure generational trauma. They continue to hold out for uh, it's in itself each time this brand. Uh, in 20, all my life, I've lived in part of your great dialogue. Versus, though I have a generation, I've been all my life, in charge of my life, I've been 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 in charge of my life, i have been in charge of my life 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 i have been in
you in a PlayStation stuff, you also want to watch Mr. America writing one day. Cross in an eight, nothing shouty, you perform Mr. Blade, tiger recession, bubbles can also be a comedy today, the human state that went up the ash county, writing the same teacher, writing every month, severe self, actualization with their blood, direct blood, and continuous blood, letting us not stop that motor or racing them, or child fighting hills, and also movement days. Social moves get by genocide, but also winter, our new and old forces, social moves that prior to towards straight speech. This shift draws from a space and time, when and where Sylvia Winter reflects the writing within the Bondo's cave, when and where the blood on the walls paint that's made to look like blood, winter challenges, riots, real plus one, the necessities for survival as those may have been made up. This moment of reflection on the paint that's made to look like blood is a prerequisite for surrender until anyone tries to then rewrite the origin stories of the world anew. Comes in 20, Sylvia Winter talks about Bondo's cave, New York, right now, walls not blood is paint made to look like blood, winter challenges, pieces, and what if we think is blood, they just say, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers, what if we think we are all of our teachers
human aspect of it. I think that we're criticizing the notion that like blood exists in the same capacity across all forms of like life and et cetera. The Grove evidence says that the fugitive nature of blood comes from the ability for it to be both like consensually, not consensually violated well, or ext extracted from the bodies that are sort of within the war games of like international alliances, et cetera. Why does that, I, why does, why is blood's capacity to be extracted make it fugitive? Here, I can answer that. The Grove evidence talks about multiple attempts to try and harness the power of blood throughout multiple histories of warfare through like how to transport it easier through like the reduction of it down to albinium into like a cheap powder that can be. Okay, I, I guess I'll get more to the point of my question because uh, the general theory is not really useful for what I'm trying to get at. Uh, uh, Grove says that like blood cannot be replicated and therefore uh, sluggishly nags at the very grounds of war is your argument that like the affirmative uh, results in the end of blood collection and therefore uh, like reduces the ability of the military to sustain itself abroad or things like that. It's like we that defend the termination of okay. the blood. Okay, of, uh, your the okay your gums evidence then says that like what if the uh, blood on the walls of the uh, Bolombo's caves it was actually just paint. Is yeah. your argument that there is uh, an ability to rearticulate the materiality of blood uh, away from blood, as Grove describes it, to paint? We think that blood has both a very physical sort of like in, like mechanism within society. We think that there's also a how very can paint how version. can paint how can paint represent as blood per the Grove? How can paint represent as blood? Well, the one AC has highlighted itself in red as a way to demonstrate. Is your argument that highlighting paint? in red is uh, made well, we to think look that like blood? Or just ways blood logistics? Like, what does highlighting, what does highlighting in red okay, exactly. do to disrupt blood logistics that is different from highlighting in any other color? Yeah, for sure. So we think that there's an importance to the color used because it draws attention to the blood oath that is signed. Okay, I don't even think that that's community. what it comes to saying. About I don't think that you've let me answer. Paintings, so that's fine. The McDougal, I have talk. another question. The McDougal evidence, how does uh, the AF think that Jackson, George Jackson should be presented? Nico, I think you should take this one. It's not a question of like, how should anybody be presented? I think the George Jackson at Evan, the George Jackson argument there is talking about the way in which black blackness appears in the academy as omission, and it, it talks about the way that George Jackson is How omitted does the throughout. Resolve that? The, the AF resolves that. Well, one, I think the AF resolves it on multiple levels. First of all, it re, it changes the terms in which black authors are supposed to, you know, like appear in different academic wow. spaces. Also, yeah, wow. so like. The way in which we omit different authors, you know, and we black out who they are, you know, no face, no case, you know, all those things, you know, also we think that we create different ways in which we're supposed to be engaging the academy. Uh, one in C has been sent. It will be one off and then the case. I'll let everyone open it. The Nate said his third. Cool, cool. Nico, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Interpretation that Agnes Brodus to negate any of the ass frames, including two or three frames, cross-sex moments, we can agree with the vast majority of the app, but you still vote negative, only conditional tests, a limited agreement, incentivize narrow testing specific claims requiring us to screw the entire DF, forces extreme impact turns that lack nuance of political utility. We disagree with the following frames. One, new materials that rejects the F, frame is sandwiches and new materials ethics to prioritize becoming over blackness and requires a perceptual restation of antibiotic clients in order to initiate lines of flight in Leon and 16. 
New materials of resistance and post-human scrim are always in the process of becoming now culture shift is towards a philosophical modernism is inspired by Deleuze. The very aspects would make uh make more matter more real, restrict its ethical potential, but something accept a rejection of the race. If we were to suffer in business and in not human network the ground of ethics shifts accordingly, new materials, ethics manifest in an affective encounter the micro-political trails, chance, continuous creativity, our prior test of race languages that continue at the global this implies we're approaching the world through affectivity, not cognition, ethical practice, not based on the ability to evaluate right from wrong, but on a commitment to experience of vitality. Of being these persons are living under conditions of crisis are franchised at the expense of addressing the cut of this constitution depersonalization of the event not only depoliticizes the claims of historically oppressed communities but also finds distinction between traumas inflicted through happenstance that persisted into generational harm it becomes more difficult to reconcile into inter 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 interdimensionality with the endurance of repetition and two-black institutions of global and two-black to continue to function the framing of new materialism is incoherently is inherently more ethical generates a disavow of race to George Jackson and McDoodle evidence glorifies George Jackson and criticizes entire fields for not Citing him that makes care of the self inaccessible to black women's labor and extracted and devalued for continued built to see James and seven. It is easy to begin with the liberator and slide into appropriator white anti racist make the, the or ethic shop and suspend anti black rights that lie within what is the value of recognition for the uniqueness of black bodies for whom white rights cultures have resolved an exceptional place of prisoners. Wife offers an illustration of vessel moves like gold, the mid age sister for mapping over the imperial insurgents as moves to seems political risk and difference of for differentiate for the free person regulated the household by racial sexual stigma and practices how the the has Jackson's book influenced perceptions of racism and mimetic reforms that must oh, 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 cover Jackson's ideology. It's most recent equal opportunity for a black woman performing insurrection are likely to pay a heavier price. Some value for the radicals, some may never pay the price for the tech in academic landscape, closer proximity to the state, captivity shape of uh, even the gallows humor of the dead sense of, of the household. We could just not want to mention men who rebelled or masked radical theorists are talking because they have their right that right and privilege. He presents the corpse of revolution icon and person rebel George Jackson. Jackson did the Attica captive captives and insurgents were murdered for those who act, who witnesses, who supplants, and who performs a girl in theater, those that leave no mark on the physical body would erase and disemberment through mimetic performance that discredits the legacies of the households of their resistance. Women and children have not dominated the landscape of the broken and scarred bodies and minds and uh, disoriented souls. And Jackson's frame of perfect disorder requires the death of black women, flips care, James and seven, elucidate to elucidate the prison within the prison state as Jackson urged requires considering what would have to disappear, predator prey formations. All this may be more perfect disorder than most can handle the perfect disorder. Jackson calls for seem to requiring a lot of diagnostic, physical, but intellectual, and political tests in which a diplomat mentioned a good. The only good woman is the dead one, physically or physically or physically for religious peace, not just good woman is the dead soul to the God who first gives life, then gives li up life for a fetus. Perhaps the woman must die to goodness in order to tend the midwife to perfect disorder of religion culture. Such a uh, death betrays family formations. Good women reasonably fear the consequences of treason, penal as isolation as a social death and socially dead. And his worldview is informed by violent relationship toward women and their status as mothers reproduce the violence of the black matrix and takes out any solvency Nelson and Petit. For Jackson, his father embodied pretty black men well, with his mother. He was capable of accusations. I feel that you have failed me, mama. You have always had the running of things. You are a woman. This is a predatory man's world in a social hierarchy. Jackson developed in men were sworn words and a woman with their blind assistance. Women like to be dominated in love, being stronger, need an observer to supplement their weaknesses. We should never love women to express any opinions on the subject, just, just, but just to sit, listen to us, and attempt to understand passages like this come throughout Jackson's letter. The impact of racial rape, prioritization of racial capital and displacement this intimate violence includes terror against black matrix, which outweighs the case James and 13. Racial capital overshadows racial rape the island of democracy is a boundary and its contours of a terror obscure terror against black matrix shapes those uh, borders a racial gender difference system as well as black sovereignty under the picture of few bounds against the female form is often denied uh, through language that renders female trauma inconsequential racial rape becomes subsumed violence manifested through sexual trauma force breeding sterilization or abuse colonization black rooms have been public record american democracy is narrative but it's uniquely targets the black matrix because it offers a foundational frame for democracy and of state intimate violence black matrix through a picture of racial sexual violence ec econ ec economies economics and protest terrors meet if perceptual fight from genocide maroons cross the border They're Flight towards the middle community to find a group with the ancestral resistance to the body, contemporary revolution, Western democracy, the benefits of the black ventures, as this well through liberal linguistic and material economies, the black matrix as a free good nation that harbors the pressure and prey in one conventional wars, except by male racial rights and act for the DNA of the police guards and paramilitary all can be found in the bodies of the black matrix. Three, care for the self is neoliberal capari and 16. African Ottoman tradition was central to the emotional capitalism theoretic idea of communication provided a link between the self understanding the private and the public tools and technology has made it impossible possible to turn aspects of our life into computerized communicative capitalism to enable capitalism and profit participation participation fetishized affect values tied with the political economy human agency network technologies in multiple ways we are embodiments of affect costumes through living with debt affect operates between the brain and social relationality the production of compliant subjects to individualize the discourse on well-being emotional support and help uh, self-help uh, undermine collective struggle affect capital relationship organizing 
is how much our capacity to effort transforms to manage for stretches, modalities, now borrowed cognitive, non cognitive intimacy and labor, effective capitalism as mode of production, resistance to organizing, production and distribution rely on bodies encounters and relations are surrounded by vast array of technologies that produce and transform them into capital. Neoliberals some causes mass racist finds and climate change problems in the 14th, yay, origins of the global crisis found in over accumulation and contradiction of state power crisis in one place for robbers and the crisis and systemic canopy that envelops all these dimensions, climate change, and conflicts and central agriculture, threatening the ability of billions of people to survive the system of century, ecological limits of its reproduction, the magnitude of violence is non-partisan, computed, computerized war, drones, a bunker, a bus or a bomb, control and destruction of present industrial, omnipresent policing, militarized gentrification, the spread of WMD and military transition makes it hard to imagine the system come, come under stable political authority. It involves military transition, masculinization, homophobia, and the race of globalization, fascism, normalizes, glamorizes warfare, and social violence. For their graffiti says, hashtag say their name, that erases, hashtag say her name, and the violence onto black women that overcode racial rape with racial capital fondren and 20. Since Floyd's death, there's been an influx of hashtags, uh, like, hashtags like hashtag say his name and hashtag say their name. They such a muddle the very reasoning behind the creation of hashtag say her name. Hashtag say her name was meant to ampl amplify the names, the narratives of black women, Sandra Bland, Ayanna uh, Stanley Jones, Rika Boyd, uh, Atania Jefferson, Trana Anderson, Byron, Kirstie Darshana Harris, Michelle Kosovsk, uh, Sally Frey, Kyla Moore. So hashtag say her name is not just a catchy hashtag. There's no equivalent need for a hashtag say his name or a hashtag say their name. It's time we just put a fraction of our energy to commemorating lives of black women case. One vote negative on presumption, the one you see is a combination of a variety of critiques, most of which have an internal contradictions or are wholly inconsistent. Ask yourself questions about scale and scope. How does the one you see withdraw from Blatto's change the infrastructure that creates them to blackness this co terminus with slaveness, refuse the narrative arc of equilibrium, disequilibrium, equilibrium restored, as demanded by the affirmative social death practice, possibility of any moment of plenitude in terms of case, what are the 16? Blackness and conservatives with slaveness, there's never been a prime meta moment of plenitude. Blackness cannot be disembarking from slavery. The narrative arc of, of the slave is not an arc at all, but a flat line historically and redemption as intricately bound. Both are inherently anti black redemption, semiotics of uh, uh, meaning void and be in poorly because it's just the supplemental contradiction is essential to coherent object in humanity, stabilizes redemption for those who do not need it. Gratuitous violence, mass attempt for spatial logic, and setting unattainable the slave becomes social death by a way of recruitment. Uh, social death is not irreconcilable with a moment of plenitude and narrative a event of equilibrium. The issue so that becomes an event of disequilibrium, which pregnant with the possibility of change, the change becomes the third episode of the generative or narrative arc, a moment of equilibrium restored. The slave is still not conceived as a subject of transaction. The struggle of man of service upsets the possibility of a black person. Too, the question of space is not whether space can be carved out for black life. If the anti-black world is irredeemable, how is there exist a corner of the world that opens itself to the possibility of black life? You should instead understand blackness as the abject precondition for linguistic intervention and redemption itself, which implicates the ability to solve section 19. One might maintain the distinction between an ideal and the object cause of desire in the critique of conflation itself. The global drive of anti blackness appears the pathology rather than the paradigm. The expect words irredeemable and the arguments of redemption are untenable at best. Whether and when and how to, and to some extent some corner of the world is now could be the future redeemed to blackness. This is irrediscernible, ir something beyond the curious judgment situated in the light of blackness is deconstructible core of onto metaphysics as it is both imminent to a formlessness, preconditioned structure, self grammar, language, semiotics, and mathematicians facing a blackness. The statement functions as shorthand for the critique of emancipation. Freedom, they basically relate to whether blackness is safe or nothing. Ambience relates to the whether black people can do anything to adore me to suffer patiently. That would be orthogonal to urgency. Haste that it animates the text when faced with black words. You call it a fallen because you are doomed, or and do, do you endure it as such, cleansing yourself of futile desire for being? Okay, you good? Yeah. Okay. I guess the Jackson stuff, the McDougal evidence uses Jackson as like an example of the undocumentable like aspects of black life. I'm confused where the F has like defended things like Jackson's theory of the perfect disorder and like his relationship with One, mom. The first is I disagree with your framing of McDougal evidence. McDougal okay. positively cites George Jackson and says that instead we should insert Jackson's views, opinions, theories, as well as the underlying assumptions that Jackson makes into our politics is one that is good. 1AC Crossex clarifies this and says that you, uh, as the 1AC in the presentation of the 1AC, says that we need to positively affirm Black scholars and the injection of those Black scholars is good. We have impact turned the injection of George Jackson within this debate. Okay. And the Nelson evidence about Jackson's specific relationship with his mother and the accusations he made. Is there something that like the one in C, I guess, like rejection or like interpretation does to resolve how that kind of relationship gets created? Or like, is this just yeah, so like it? Think, 
Yeah, so we think that we should reject Jackson's frames and the way that he frames black women uh, within their forms of politics. Rather, the interpretation says that we can endorse the 1AC sans that interpretation slash endorsement of George Jackson. Okay. Carpe 16 evidence, self-care being neoliberal. This card says stuff about like why affect is like a thing and communicative capitalism. Why is self-care like a mode of communicative capitalism? Well, A is the way that you've described in 1AC Cross-X as moments of re-highlighting that create sort of spaces within debate is one that would impact turn. And then the second part is that if the 1AC's sort of mode of politics of self-care is one that determines and is based on the ability to have affectual connections with each other is inherently one that is neoliberal and decentralized. And the interpretation is not like also a mode of communicative capitalism or like therapeutic modes of discussion where you're able to like use tools of debate to like engage in different questions. Like I don't know what the interpretation is a tool of debate, but it's rather a mode of organizing the way that we should orient our politics. We think it's best. Okay, wait, but like how do you orient your politics? Is your your politics just oriented around a rejection of George Jackson or like is there other thing? The Carby card is an explicit criticism of the AFS advocacy via the last piece of King evidence of modes of self-care because of the ways in which those are used to generate new markets uh, and are used uh, what are those new markets by by social media companies in order to generate uh, new ways for advertising. What new markets are created though? We think so the we can impact this out more in the negative block, but we think that the way that self-care has produced a lot of different industries where products are are used and sold as methods of self-care or the way that, uh, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram are able to say hashtag self-care as a way to get people to like look at get more clicks and get therefore more advertising revenue is a tool of capitalism that only individualizes resistance instead of providing for modes. Are, are you going to be a second? Because I'll wait to use the bathroom if you're not. Yeah, I, I'm okay. going to be a minute. Okay, cool. Okay. No problem.
Okay, I got six. I'm sending it out now. <laughs> it's two AC front doubles. We don't want that. There we go. Well, this is taking a hot minute to send. Okay, it's picking up now. Okay, it's case in the K. And I'm going to keep my camera off because, you know, lag is a thing. Yeah, I just sent the doc. not want to open out like okay so everybody got it cool texas gucci i don't know if uh, sean's back yet oh True. I guess we gotta wait for Sean. I wish Sean was back. Hey, Sean's back. Sorry about that. You're Gucci. It's case in the K, and then I'll give you a sec to open the dock and junk. Cool, yeah. Let's get this started then.
The one in C conceded the half theory of power. The smile on the face of the soldier at the NATO blood donation driving the first car image set the stage for the S recharacterization of IR as a humanist or a fantasy that drove to black blood. That's a grove evidence. Number three conceded Max the way see that turn all their offense. First is porno tripping the reduction of bodies of flesh for one's own enjoyment, which is demonstrated in all of their discussion about of, of, of a racial rape. And two is battle fatigue and physical exhaustion from a psychic violence. And that is the terminal solvency deficit to any potential movement organizing that they're supposed to be garnering off of this framework argument and three is response upon a cycle of nature that fuels a repetitious sex drive the cursed images are in round examples of absolvency and solvent two ways first there are ideas that destroy white supremacist origin stories the gums evidence talking about the columbus cave writing with payment to look like black and inform a practice of writing that allows for writers to surrender to new language practices that result in new ways to study the political two the king evidence talks about how graffiti can redirect violence for example the bullying of the columbus statue was able to redirect virtue to light laying towards humanity in order to produce a space for anti-humanist and anti-colonial communication and survival strategy development that sex in 19 of well actually let me first answer this presumption argument first of all yes we have consistency all of our arguments are in the context of blood or how with you know like uh, how new language practices are able to disrupt the way that we understand the language of blood politics are all trench from one drop uh, one drop uh, virgin colonial virginia one drop policies that made it so that one drop of a black blood made it so that you were disqualified from citizenship which is the uh, overarching frame that you should use when you're evaluating history around anti-blackness now their first argument uh, so that's how we're uh, i already did the work on how we change that infrastructure above now the uh, sex and evidence the f is not the move towards a transcendence of anti-blackness our f often actually weaponizes fungibility in order to find new spaces and strategies for survival then there's a humanism just added here that f the anti-humanist rejection metabolizes fungibility as a space of maneuver and liberation and their account of the political economy lose fungibility therefore they can't solve the f king 16 black flesh and spaces as her uh, hobbit function as sites where a new possibility for freedom are articulated as matter that lives outside humanist categories black flesh cannot be contained by the rubric labor but it's a freedom existing in and garret spaces leaving the body going insane suicide saying fire to the slave state murdering the settler master revolt escape or just surviving the wilderson 16 evidence no the f is not looking for historical redemption and sure as hell isn't talking about the story of uh, before the invasion or before the destruction and i'm not going read this judy card so let's go to the critique proper first of all they know you need to on their framework argument no you need to prove a competing alternative or defend the status quo it's not enough for you to just take away theoretical frames that makes it so that you have shallow debates around the theory of power and explodes the limits of debates because you can find evident amount uh, amount of tiny word pa- word picks and uh, make it so that we're uh, forced to debate against ourselves and uh, the first the new materialism stuff just an answer our king and uh, 19 evidence about street speech in which we needed in order to account for, uh, for the way that social movements in the status quo who are focused on that affect and creativity that Leong is talking about would oh, fail in the status quo to, oh, and fail to address genocidal violence and parasitic self-actualization that F is that key shift now let's talk about this George Jackson and stuff first of all they're, they're, they're glorifying of George Jackson is just wrong first of all it's only a small part of the 1AC and we're only specifically citing the, 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 the portion that Deleuze and Guarnard draw from which is the idea of attack and counterattack or from uh, where Jackson is talking about how when they try to escape they're going to find a stake so that they can have a weapon in order to find a way to escape from the prison and, and neo slavery in general now their argument saying that's inaccessible for black women ignores McDougal's own position as a black woman which means it's inaccessible to some black women in themselves and also Jackson is only cited in the context of what was taken from Deleuze and Guarnari we don't advocate for that per- a perfect disorder argument so you should have a very high threshold for explanation on how the AF creates that perfect disorder in the UNC and in the black proper. Now, let's talk about this racial rape debate. First of all, black women are conceived of as endlessly inclusive, where black women can be an air changing signifier. It does a disservice to the ungendering force of the end, the iteration of black female flesh into the project of black feminism. Black women is a symbol that belies the desire to be subjective and subjectifies in an uneasiness with difference in the categorical definition of black female flesh this begs the woman question at the heart of their symbolic desire green and bay 17 when we say women we mean cisgender otherwise gender non-conforming left out of our, our out of our imaginary black liberation movements and can see by naming ourselves and those who we have lost interval and to mere rights we long to account for all the ways we have been separated because of generations of violence the outright assault on our families and bodies our potential for liberation requires a critical collective consciousness but in our desire to bring ourselves together slippages occur as the model being mirrored a neoliberal mode of diversity i don't 
think we often see movements uh, say that the common thread of blackness is not just the male body or the presumed cis male body, but in fact, that cis and trans black women can rep uh, represent the intersectional positionality and oppression that black communities face. How does the category of women able to hold difference? Those of us interested in black liberation must be wary of and uh, wary of the and and its question of relationality. The and seeks to bring transgender women into the fold of the category of women as a category that continuously fails to articulate what it is that makes some women the, uh, the imagined universalized representative subject of the category are black women, women win, how, if not, why do we hold on to that category of women at all? Scholars and organizers assume the answer to Sojourner's truth question, ain't I a woman is yes, what if, but what if we took the gift of the truth as a proposition to dwell, what would something else look like without the organizing binary of male and female we work within, limited category, uh, categorical identities, even though we know their limitations, we fear non-existence without them. As a signpost to remind us that we are human, the non-existence I want those of us who are working toward black liberation and gender liberation or, or gender self-determination is the non-existence we impose on one another. It is not productive to simply add to the category of women without thinking through the ways women as a category is a failure. We simply add women as the proper subjects of feminist politics. What happens to the men who have lived as women? And are we able to hold the stories of both C.C. McDonald, Marissa Alexander, and Kyle Pearson under this inclusive black queer, black queer feminist framing in order to disentangle ourselves from reliance on women and instead think through the ways in which femininity and masculinity are moving in and across all kinds of bodies. The category of women remains attached to notions of biological authenticity, simultaneous urge to disrupt and change these limited and limiting categories we use to identify ourselves and to hold them close to us is by virtue categories that exist as subjects we are subjected, uh, subjected baited by these categories as though, though we have lost ourselves. Might the nexus of black female feminism be able to uh, be an enabling provocation for unracial, ungender thought and existence otherwise it's shade throwing deployable problem for a thought. Now that car was hella long, but you should think about this in which the way in which they uh, have talked about black womanhood as, uh, as they're only talking about that of cisgender, but ignore the way that trans uh, trans women women are uh, raised in the status quo. Now uh, uh, trans black women are erased in the status quo. Now this is, should also be cross applied as an answer to their next argument about uh, I'll say their name and now uh, about say their name. Did you? Cool. Yeah. Oh, they say that care for the self is neoliberal, but I think I'm going to impact her in that. First of all, they ignore the other portion of the King Ar uh, evidence in which it talks about care for the self and others. We think that the, the app is able to create a kind uh, and new kinds of modes of care that, that, that are able to be translated to multiple groups. Now, let me answer this, the, the impact level of the debate because we control the root cause. Slavery and colonialism initiated a chain of events that gave rise to a transnational capitalist or Jackson. And 20 says slavery and colonialism inaugurate Western modernity's condition of possibility initiating a chain of events that have given rise to a transnational capitalist order. <laughs> Slavery's ledger system placed black humans, horses, cattle, and household items all on the same <laughs> bill of purchases. The ledger's biopolitical arithmetic, its calculation of humanity, dislocated, depersonalized, and collapsed, difference except in the area of market value. The process of making the slave light on the objection to criminalization of the enslaved humanity rather than merely on the denial of it. Thus, humanization is not an antidote to slavery's violence. Rather, slavery is a technology for producing a kind of human. Cool. Let's go back to the case page. You can look at these Sexton and Wilderson arguments and you have to think about this. They've conceded our mumble theory evidence that specifically talks about how we need a new language of abstraction in order to understand the ways in which linguistically and at the level of grammar, black people are rendered and placed at the bottom most place. Our argument is that we need graffiti in order to disrupt the way in which that system is able to function. Cool. Good. Indeed. Cool. Uh, I'll start with the last argument you've made. Uh, you said graffiti disrupts the system. Uh, how does it solve things like battle fatigue, resentment, or pornotroping that are described by your theory of power as yeah. one solves and derives from institutions. Yeah, cool. So one, we think that one graffiti provides the energy, you know, in which people are able to look at images and find their own ways to embrace that creative capacity and be able to tie that to their own lives and be able to have that influence how they engage in different institutions. So that's how we solve the battle fatigue portion because that graffiti provides energy for activism. You can see that in the King evidence when it's talking about the Christmas. What Columbus activism statue. does the 1AC inspire? 
what activism yeah. uh well like the king 19 evidence talks about the way in which like uh the blooding of a columbus statue and writing black lives matter under it was able to inspire activists within that specific uh like area that's to, you like, know, like do so that, those shit. are examples of activism but my question is more at the internal link level it's like how does activism change broader structures that you have described are perpetuated by nato uh anti-black colonial structures abroad globally etc yeah so one i think that if you look at our mumble theory evidence we're going to make the argument that you know like the negro is the problem of the world so we think that overall you changing how exactly the black blackness is functions within the world you change the world so we think that activism that's created as a result of you know like the creative capacity of blackness are instances where you know black activists are able to find new ways new. to disrupt the world like our brand evidence is very good at talking about the way in which policymakers right now are scared of black political demands and it talks about how they're literally spinning 180 degrees in order to like account for them Wait, what 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 piece of evidence do you think substantiates this? The brand 20 evidence. Okay. It's and it's specifically in the context of like yeah. during the summer when you know like people were toppling over statues and Perfect. shit, you know, and like during that time, you know, like Trump was like, Oh, well, we need to build all of these, you know, like we need to build a garden filled with statues, you know, in order to counter the black radicalism that toppled over these monuments to white supremacy. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I just have one last question. Uh the Green and Bay evidence describes Black womanhood conceived as endlessly inclusive. A, a, what is the link to this argument? And B, cool. is yeah, your concept of Black woman, in which you talk about Black womanhood in the context of the mother, you know, we think that that in itself is anti trans, anti Black trans. So we think that we, we should said, be looking. So, like all of your arguments about, just, like, say her name and, you know, like we shouldn't have said, say their name are instances where you're being anti-trans. I, I don't think we've said that. We've said the one EC has, but regardless- Well, no, no, no. You, spe you specifically talk about, you know, like it says say their name instead of say her name. Yeah, do you have so. a link to say her name? What? We have That's anti-trans. What do you mean? That's anti-black trans woman. What do you mean? We have 10 minutes.
We have 720 left. I'll put that in the chat. Um, uh, it'll be the frame subtraction page. Uh, the cards should be sent out. Did, uh, can I get confirmation when everybody uh, has gotten the cards and is ready? Okay, so I got Nate, Sean. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I don't have it yet. Okay, now I do. Okay. All right. Everyone ready? You should evaluate the debate through offense, defense, default, neg on theory, and questions of small link differentials. The app is functionally incoherent. Grove uses to lose and buy. Idle materialism to critique IR, Wilderson and King do a reading of pessimism that views blackness as ontological gums, takes up winter theory of the human, which is sociogenic and doesn't align with Wilderson, McDougal is about Foucault and George Jackson. All of this is wrapped up in a rant about graffiti and images, which is literally not a 1AC argument, and they have zero evidence about it. They've written a 1AC that can be literally anything ever and can wait until the 2AR to decide what it wants to be about. This is untenable for the negative and crushes in depth critical debating revolutionary education, which turns the, uh, 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 which turns their shallow debates uh, uh, argument about why picks that. All we can do is point to parts of the 1AC we disagree with. The 2NR can consolidate to particular frame. That means that if we're winning any risk of offense to the brains, we're subtracting out of you, vote negative. There's no conditionality argument, which means that we get to an arc uh, uh, we get to an arc consolidation. I'll answer, I'll, I'll, I'll answer the, uh, the pig's bad theory here. Our interpretation is that the negative uh, burden is to negate any of the ass frames. This debate is only a question of value of what they did in the moments that we critique the role of the judge to be an evaluator of frames. The purpose of the ballot is to identify places for improvement and refinement, and uh, not a uh, fiat yes, no choice, but about overarching desirability. This is not a pick in the sense of taking the one I see for ourselves, but instead of model debate the process of iterative improvement optimizes practice. The elements of the one are always going to be correct, but nuance questions of tactical response require specific balance testing on each part of their strategy. Anything else makes it impossible to be negative in a world of critical debate because the app will always become something new in the 2AC and that, uh, and, and that new spin will always outweigh any of our 1AC offense. That's why we get to negate any frame that they forwarded, including cross-examination of the 2AC. The picks bad was beaten in the 1C. One is practice critiques of frames necessary. Nuance testing is a better uh, model of engagement to improve practice. Tactical disagreement should be the purpose of testing critical of is prevents uh, uh, preventing direct and nuanced criticism of their scholarship music can include Problematic elements that go unchecked. Second is nuance. They force unhelpful extremes like impact trains that miss key points clash make it impossible to nag burden when they can leverage many good themes against a few forces that we can uh, that we can turn. That's anti-educational and unfair. Three, we're fair. They chose the one I see in the two I see. They should defend it. There's literature defending everything and unconstrained pre-round choice raises the bar, letting them all the hook create shallow advocacy and argumentative responsibility. If their argument is that there's infinite problems with the affirmative, then our interpretation is the only way to solve those. Otherwise, it allows those problems to be recreated in every debate because we're never allowed to test them. Four is that it doesn't steal their labor. The notion of owning liberals, hyper neoliberal, crypto liberal to libertarianism that insulates them from critique. It's a terrible model for a competitive activity where we are forced to negate you and say that you're wrong. So, uh, disallowing picks forces us to defend the status quo or disagree with terms uh, truisms like race, uh, uh, like racism. Bad. The uh, argument, the argument about we don't uh, we don't solve street speech. One scholars reverse the ballot can't resolve affect, which is precognitive and unconscious, but it can reject violent scholarship. Two affect is inevitable and not quantifiable. That's their theory. We could just as easily say the one AC can't capture the affect of solvency of our performance. Three. This isn't a solvency deficit. Copying and pasting Google images into a Word document or highlighting your document in red isn't an affective disruption or street speech, especially since nobody even sees it since they're looking at you and following the one I see, not at your speech doc. And the argument that is good for them uh, proves that the ballot isn't key because their performance should solve their self uh, self care. The ballot can still be used to reject the ass 
but uh, the, the as final frames, there's just no reason why uh, a sending about the tavern uh, creates a new gra a new grammar uh, a new uh, new grammar of suffering. Now the link to it, you should uh, uh, versus the new materialism frame, which was which was dropped in the two AC. You should vote negative two and forget Jerry. It's two hour can't win on the permutation because people win. Shoe warning in a dead French philosophy into criticisms of anti bike racism is bad. First is that anti bikeness precedes blood banks. Leon and James means that we know blood oils aren't with the same civil society or U.S. imperialism. It's the metaphysical and condition of white over black sustained through black female flesh is a zero degree of social conceptualization there. Method is a historical because black anti bikeness did not begin with the alliance system in the 1940s. Gut check what blood oils sustain the middle passage. Savage ecology is an attempt to re explain history so, we, uh, so that Grove can gain notoriety when we already know what's true. We need to frame to try to out of Grove. New material is white theory, uh, theory is getting history wrong and sending black people down a rabbit hole to invent a new explanation for social relations when the current explanation is Oxman's race here, proven by how Grove is only able to articulate the fugitive potential of blood by displacing black female flesh as a zero degree social conceptualization in favor of blood as, quote, an assemblage that defies essence or formula while being predictable and consistent. The AF reimagines sites of blood attraction outside of racialization and is providing the additions for disrupting the ecology of war because it sluggishly nags at the very grounds of war and applies this condition generically to human blood rather than focusing on race as a driver behind differential expectations which impact turns their border tropping impact. That's Leong in 16th. Spellers, which is the material semiotic inheritance of black women's flesh, service is started in an and must be internally reproduced as a sign uh, as a signification of black is available before tropic is sort of process of racialization where race is contributed by a repeated status of white parts from black people suffering black most flesh the existence where remains a structural vulnerability to violence and that is also a grammar and unconscious system of rules that marks black women's zero degree of social conceptualization. I don't need to do any more on the link of it because I've already done that above, but independently the choice description of porn tropping as quote the reduction of bodies to flesh for one's own enjoyment evacuates the specificity of violence against black female flesh and repeats the problems of new materialism and understanding of blackness, which is an independent frame that you should, uh, 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 independent frame of foreign shopping that you should reject. Next is the Jackson uh, link. The K outweighs the case. The longest war in U.S. history is this war on black women. The fulcrum on which predatory democracy functions is the labor of captive maternals. Black women have been simultaneously defined by the most monstrous forms of racism and contributed into predatory democracy by the extraction of reproductive labor. Nearly every academic field and debate is no exception. It's overly focused on impacts that are spectacular. War, policing, mass incarceration, rape, uh, racial rape, outweighs all of them. Our James 13 evidence that's of comparative impact framing that is better than any impact comparison card they will read civil society was birthed through trauma that lives on and through the generations to the state racial rape is an act of war uh, in and of itself because the contours of civil society are defined by the, uh, by the colonization of rooms it, it creates the conditions for colonization slavery genocide in today's imperialist conquest through reproductive labor jackson's citation should be rejected extend the nelson evidence he views the role of black men as spartan warriors and women as their character because it's not only super fucked up and a reason they should lose but also internally turns all of their care for the self arguments in their worldview black women get to play the romanticized militant hero and captain maternals black folks uh, which uh, james finds as black folks feminized into caretaking position have to take care of the wounded heroes and are expected to be silent about intimate violence racial rape or domestic abuse for the good of the cause people like george jackson or eldridge cleaver who were guilty of rape get cast as heroes while the labor of black women like uh, tarika lewis mary phillips um amacy or elaine brown who left the party because of its sexism there is also a performance link to the way they blot out references to black women in the one you see through highlighting and reading around them which also pro uh, proves that they link to their uh, invocation of dng as uh, as uh, uh, as uh, uh, glorifying Jackson as as a, uh, as a hero, as the attack, uh, as a, a mode of counterattack against the attack of civil society. In our James evidence, contextualizing the internal link of our racial rape impact, Jackson's theorization of perfect disorder, Mellon CC causes death for black women uh, choosing to renounce kinship is impossible for Captain Maternal's coercive wars to produce for the system, which is their argument that we should do by uh, by uh, 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 by uh, renouncing uh, uh, by renouncing our, our blood pact. The theory reflects a male purpose that also includes intimate violence that occurs as a result of care, emotional labor, organizing, food, nursing, etc. All examples of the source of care for the self that the one would doors which reflects the tradition of masculized and feminized roles in the movement. They said that uh, our wound theory is transphobic, however, there's zero risk of a link. One, here's a quote from James, Captain Maternals can be either biological females or those feminized since caretaking and consumption. And two, James is explicit that Captain Maternal is not biological. It's historically uh, uh, feminized caretakers that constitute the bedrock of shadow slavery. That's James in 21. Captain Maternal is self identified female male, trans or under purpose, feminized caretaking within the legacy of racism, feminized caretakers become captured from predatory democracy by redirecting gender powers from relating to the reproduction of trauma. Three, womb Western theory is about the history historical fact of black women be, uh, being erased from discussions surrounding violence but, uh, being forced to a first place makes no sense to rewrite James history. Also, this card is about fe uh, feminist theory in general, not Joy James's uh, understanding of the capital maternal or the black matrix. The say their names frame was also not answered specifically. Figure five in the one he sees a picture of a sign that employs say their names, extend the fondren evidence that actively detracts focus from the violence experienced by black women to dilute the purpose of say her name by calling for increased fo uh, focus on the deaths of black, uh, black cis men as a result of police, uh, as a result of police violence. 
violence. There are arguments that we exclude the suffering of black men is incorrect and repeats the moves of all lives matter in response to black lives matter. Say her name has emerged from the fact that in protest that anti-black violence, uh, in, pro uh, in protest over uh, anti-black violence, male victims of police brutality are centered, uh, are, are, are centered in that analysis. This is especially during the ass flipping discussion on a porn trophy, which is uh, it's about sexually violent process, racial differentiation against black female flesh, not about Nico. It's not, uh, also say her name is trans inclusive, and it's not anti trans. That's Bailey in 20, more than 500 actors, clever increased protection of black women for black trans women in West Philly, Philadelphia, transgender interactive, Dominic uh, Remy, Fels was one of the names, Fels father among those holding a banner that says, say your name. And this argument that it's anti trans black faith, well, bigger five is not about being inclusive to, uh, uh, it's not about being inclusive to non black binary folks, but it's demonstrative of the link itself, the, uh, the Care of the care of the uh, self uh, the uh, care of the self frame extend the carby evidence neoliberalism has transformed care into marketable quality to manage the insecurity it produces their performance of resilience is not liberatory but the deployment of self care as a managerial tool of affective capitalism that undermines collective struggle and creates new markets proven by the cottage industries of self care products and hashtags uh, Instagram and Twitter can capitalize on for targeted ads which turns their care uh, care for others argument because even if they want to care for others their deployment of self care as a strategy gets commodified by capitalism and uh, 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 prevents care uh, care for others uh, will answer the perm. I don't think there was one made, but we'll preempt it in the webinar. Okay, you Gucci. Mm -hmm. So I guess I want to talk about like this like frame stuff that you do in which it's talking about like different frames. So like, what are the limits of, how do you go about picking which frames to negate about the affirmative? Uh, so the 1NC evidence has provided explicit critiques of several frames that we have isolated in the 1AC. We think that the process of isolating what those problematic frames are and why they are violent. Okay, is a so to I, guess, violent I guess I guess my larger question is like, what is a frame? I'm trying so to the, yeah, so the argument that are that the argument that we're going for is that the frames are the ways in which the 1AC analyzes or prescribes solutions to violence. We think that the 1AC's analysis of violence is operating through blood logistics relies on a frame of new materialisms, for example, or we think that the 1AC's inclusion of figure five, which includes the uh, which includes the uh, sign calling for say their names, uh, is another frame that the 1AC has inserted. So the frame subtraction part of it is that we can uh, conceptualize these different parts of the 1AC as frames that can be subtracted out of and are not necessi uh, necessary for the affirmative uh, claims of solvency, i.e. the way in which you say that the AF is a disruption of anti-Black grammars. But mm -hmm. rather, we think that the way that these frames are deployed okay. is one that cool. uh, produces- So uh, I have a question. Uh, what is the captive maternal? Yeah, so uh, James defines the captive maternal as uh, those bo uh, the body uh, as black bodies that are feminized into a caretaking position in order to uh, in order to uh, constitute the borders of democracy. Uh, James specifically character uh, uh, talks about the captain maternal. Okay, in relation, who uh, who can to be black the... uh, feminized bodies? Okay, hmm? who, so who are the captain maternal? Yeah, so the James evidence, and I'll go to it specifically just so that I don't uh, misquote. But James evidence says captive maternals can either be biological females or those feminized into caretaking and consumption. Specifically, the Jameson 21 evidence says cool. captive maternals are self-identified female, male, trans, or ungendered persons feminized into caretaking within the legacy of racism. Cool. All right. And you also make an internal link to the porno troping argument under the mm -hmm. new materialism stuff. What was that again? Yeah, so uh, there are a couple. One, we think that your understanding of new materialisms and focus on blood logistics as a condition of racialization and racial difference is one that eliminates the role of porn troping as a site of racial difference and imagines it instead as a site of radical disruption or freedom, i.e., the way in which you've deployed the King 16 evidence to say that uh, the, uh, to say that the condition of fungibility is a point of rupture or radical departure is one that divorces the uh, the site of porn troping as a site of violent uh, production of racial difference and instead imagines it as a liberatory site, which can only mm -hmm. uh, happen from a position of whiteness. We also right. think that so we, they... we also, I have a different point. Uh, we also oh, think okay. that the 2AC's description of porn trophy is a reduction of bodies to flesh for one's own enjoyment erases the specificity of that balance upon black female flesh. Cool, thanks. Uh, the webinar has been sent. It will be the firm stuff, the firm stuff that Zach just said and in the case.
Can I get a thumbs up, please? Nate, you good? I'll answer the part here in case it's in the 1AR first. Permutations, you both make no sense because it frames subtraction. All of that with the theory debate default next to questions of competition. Advocates, first plan plus, last has no stable adequacy. That was the overview. We saw the case for in subtraction graffiti on the 1AC that redacts problematic elements through the counter plan. Pick a severance, prevents a contestation. The impact is critical clash and revolution ground. And guts education has no net benefit. It makes it worse. We disagree and impact turn portions of the 1AC case. Vote negative on presumption. You should ask yourselves questions of scale and scope. They have no theory of power and or mech solvency mechanism to resolve any of the impacts they've isolated first. Porn and shoving argument. They've linked to this too. They've described black suffering in the context of blood withdrawal and the context of suffering that it recurs with large via the one drop policy citizen to the theory of NATO and alliances, which means the one ACs to pictures don't resolve, nor do stories, study, graffiti, or battle. Energy that resolves battle fatigue solved. The second argument about energy do not vote for energy holistically because you have no idea where the energy is used, nor any quantification of what energy is or how it resolves or dismantles any of the structures. Yes, energy might be good in and of itself, but they have delayed absolvency to this question of scope, i.e., their theory of power that is at the top of the one in our says that NATO is controlling of those blood packs and those logistics in the status quo. They have no mechanism to resolve their results on the death drive. It's just extended as such. It says there is a dread drive. Yes, this is a cool descriptive claim of the status quo, but it's not explicit how story study graffiti results that the last argument about the one drop policy is our point because if those are codified through citizenship policies in the status quo governmental regulations you have no way of spilling up resolving this and none of your evidence contextualizes that to the ways that the one ac is read the next argument one and c2 you should refuse the one ac's investment in anti-blackness debate as the semantic field is not insulated from the protocols of anti-blackness but in fact be complicit in the policing of black life that makes any move to redemption at the level of affect discourse linguistics or semiotic complicit within it you should refuse the problem solution binary and never posed by the one error because we've impacted that frame of the analysis you should not understand the criticism in a traditional sense but as a framework argument about the scriptures of the world i.e we don't have an alternative you should frame this made through the law of inverse proportions how radical one is is only determined by how one radical one theorizes the role of the ballot is to vote for a team who best theoretical lexicon to understand in blackness are all our arguments about how this debate is about alternative forms of sociality or moments of social life or moments to create care for the self that slip through the crevices of society reveals a glimmer of optimism within their analytic which exactly will we've impact on assume they've actually analyzed the world as such and a risk of a link argument directly implicates the claims to have solvency and actually internal link terms that there's an equilibrium to that debate operates through a through a tripart of arc of redemption through social death is marked as a moment of disequilibrium social life prior to transgression is marked as equilibrium the app is marked as a return to equilibrium that completes the arc the move to restore equilibrium is only made possible by forcing blackness to undergo structural adjustment which is external effect of back captivity that means you should not evaluate the app on the basis of whether the method is valuable how the insertion of the research implicates our scholarship within blackness any argument on behalf of the one error about how debate has the capacity to do anything more than analyze black suffering illustrates a flinch in their analysis in the status quo the assumption that blackness could ever be disangled from slaveness is exactly what impact on the framing issues that there exists no corner of the world that is insulated from the protocols of anti-black policing. The assumption that app can carve out a space for, quote, a new survival strategy as per the 2 ec overview is exactly what we impact on because the bendality intercepts the capacity for black social life to exist within the academy in the first place. The ass assumption that the insertion in the county constitutes an apocryphal break of the semantic field of anti-blackness illustrates their investment into the narratives of redemption. While the app offers up black life in the name of resistance, the same sites of resistance become epistemological hotspots for anti-black violence debates for clientele of policing practices and police officers roam the halls of eight tournaments. It's empirically proven by black Black radicals like Ryan Walsh received death threats for his theories of black resistance and the BPP organized resulted in getting hot spotted and shot by the cops. Three framing arguments for evaluating this debate. One, even if we lose the ontology debate proper, i.e. either king evidence, every link independently turns the case and implicates absolvency. Our link arguments do not have to be understood within the scheme of unchanging registers of anti-blackness ontology suggests, but a critique of the yes orientation to the academy is premised on a historical reading of anti-blackness within this space. Two, you should refuse the one error's pleas that we can make them culpable for non-black people within debate or change the sphere. Every link argument will demonstrate the one NEC has explicitly said is capable of changing research paradigms or their mumble theory arguments, how it changes the halls of tab room within debate saying that it should be sufficient win condition for the negative three link arguments were never just a question of a yes, no, but operate on a sliding scale, even if they went black is already made functional within the academy, that violence can still get worse. They have made three responses. I will answer them explicitly here and they do not get new ones in the one AR because it sandbags the debate and makes it terrible. First is the new no link argument. They cannot win it. You should have a very high threshold for a new explanation. The vague and non-resolution nature of their attitude means you should have held responsible for everything that they've said. This is magnified by the fact that the one you see is a compilation of the best hits from Black and critical studies from Jairus Grove to Sylvia Winter to Tiffany King to Wilderson pessimism. We have quotes and a number of quotes that demonstrate the move to redemption of the one 
want to see first the one to see king evidence that quote black actors in the performance can interpret the narrative common sense and quotidian presence of making the human unquote which assumes black performance in the academy can interrupt humanism too though also the king evidence that quote social movements explicitly center abolition of white genocidal violence and uh, the ways that we require to shift in speech actually towards what winter would call street speech unquote which assumes the capacity of black 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 life to influence the academy's speech and activity three the tagline of their mumble evidence theory that says quote your ballot affirmative sense of signal to tab room amidst the simulacra of debate that endorse a new alternative language obstruction unquote which assumes your ballot marks a rupture in debate semantic field for their last piece of king evidence that says quote gum model of kind of study that resists consumption and mastery gums offers a readers a way to transform to buy their thinking of living unquote which posits the app as a moment of social life that disangles blackness from slaveness while transforming practice of thinking within the academy five when the two c describes the app as quote to redirect gratuitous bloodletting towards representative colonial humanity and space for anti-humanist and anti-colonial communication and survival strategy development unquote the app is somehow able to quote destroy whites uh, or suppress origin stories unquote with gratuity two ac uh, two the humanism decided as a non-starter first king says quote counter sites with new possibilities for more than humanists and freedom articulated with impact on this especially in the context of the app that locates black life from the academy as a counter site second is that setting fire to the slave state assumes slaves have the agency to burn down the plantation, which is just historically wrong after the Haitian revolution of anti-black terror was out of black rule, black people in the US still have to leave, uh, live a life under chattel slavery, etc., which proves our argument that slaves can't burn down the master's plantation and turns the case. Mumble theory was largely answered above. It is a uniqueness argument that the blackness is situated in the status quo, but we've impacted on their approach to such idea and its language or grammar can change it. All right, we have six. Okay, <clears throat> we stopped it at 320.
paste and then subtraction. I think I'll just wait to make sure Taylor's back. Sorry. All right. Pull my timer. Nate, yep, you're good. Okay. Voted for a to rewrite and bloody the Alliance system. Remember the smile on the face of the NATO soldier. The Alliance system is a human historic fantasy. They've conceded the IDs and the one I see that proves solvency for the AFDA. Half is an act of underground communication. They've said presumption, but the half of the over the Woods Alliance system in order to allow for issues of language facts that redirect and disrupt violence. Listen, I know that they were probably very pretty on the question of why the AFDA doesn't solve anything, but I don't have any evidence about why the shift towards street speech fails. We have very contextual evidence from the GOMS evidence and the Keen evidence that says that when we move towards those shifts in language tracks, they disrupt the ability for things like communicative capital to exist in the first place, which answers a lot of their offense on the <laughs> other flow. That is the top of the for presumption. They've no answer to black imaginative capacity, which is the <laughs> solvency mechanism of the 1AC in the first place, which no evidence to answers the <laughs> reason why we access the theory of power. Even if we don't have a <laughs> card that says it does, we should use the black imaginative capacity to imagine a world in which never considered human has the agency to do those things, which is why <laughs> the app is good. They say refuse that. <laughs> you should prove all of this. First off, it's not a move towards transcendence. You can see that from the two ACs about <laughs> strategies of self-care, which means if I win that self-care is good, that answers the most of the <laughs> arguments they've done here. We they say that we <laughs> They will develop. We need that because the analyzation of the antibiotics in the context of the virus is a good <laughs> theorization to grow better to the bullet of is necessary to understand how one drop has a hop shot from the cultivation to Nazi <laughs> anthropology, which is necessary to <laughs> historically understand the ramifications of antibiotics globally. They say equilibrium, but the <laughs> grand evidence answer that they've never answered that card. It says that equilibrium is already in a state of collapse. It's just a question of how we can <laughs> exist within that. There's no answer to the movement of there, 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 there is no insulary, there's no insulation offense, yes, because carving out a space for <laughs> is possible in the world <laughs> of imagination, the black capacity, the university's offense is answered. In the one AC, the mumble theory <laughs> the argument says <laughs> the, the mumble theory arguments were answered above by saying that why <laughs> our actions within the universe are necessary to disrupt the practices of <laughs> commodification in the first place. The shift towards free speech rearticulates what it thought of <laughs> by black life. They've conceded the <laughs> simulations offense above, which is why <laughs> it's necessary to set a signal to tap room because it disrupts <laughs> or at least send a signal that we should not be <laughs> advocating for certain styles or building <laughs> uh, policy made black life is always already in a state of counter <laughs> uh, resistance or counter site in the <laughs> university, which is why it's necessary to resolve that the <laughs> act goes to the kit. At the top, competing alternatives are better. If we win this argument, then you vote off. <laughs> you vote affirmative procedurally because it means that their model is a <laughs> form of uh, the model to be the Christian child. It means that force you firm to debate itself. That turns all their <laughs> nuanced arguments because it means that alternatives are necessary to understand the tactical responses that they think are <laughs> important. If I win any of those procedural arguments, then it means that it doesn't matter if they have a <laughs> disagreement with the affirmative lack of a competitive alternative with the act <laughs> recreates the same sort of structural violence and impacts that they have gone for because it means that <laughs> they do not provide solutions or at least put attempts that <laughs> resistance to those things. They just stand up, say it's bad, and then sit down. That <laughs> Recreate sections of sad battle fatigue and <laughs> exhaustion, which was impacted out of the 2AC. I think that their only answer to this is that energy isn't a solvency mechanism, but our argument is that <laughs> the way in which the Columbus statue was repeated over, etc., are all <laughs> ways in which the movement of graffiti was able to give energy back to activists and the status quo. The, um, at the top, I guess, at the top of the sort of uh, structure of this debate, I don't have an answer to the Jackson evidence and the one uh, uh, Jackson evidence and the 2 and C were the one in our which internally the <laughs> entire internal turns the entirety of their arguments because all of their <laughs> shit is in the context of forms of commodification of cap or co <laughs> communicative capitalism. And Jackson evidence says that we access the root cause of their impacts because it's a question of how the ledger system has created a system of communicative capitalism that has given rise to a system of anti-blocks that only the affirmative has an impact to, which answers a lot of their arguments because it's all in the context of why capitalism is bad in the status quo. Now I'll do the new materials and debate. This will answer a lot of the presumption offense on case if I win. Any risk of the F is a good thing. Remember, shift towards street speech never answered is a form of materialism that is good. The Bombos Cave means that we are not ahistorical because we've analyzed the international alliance system in the context of the historical analysis of why the Bombos Cave tells us that there's a death that death tells us that there's a linkage between the material aspects of blood as well as the figurative. They say what our blood owes, probably the blood that was spilled into the Atlantic when the slaves were thrown overboard of the ship. The assemblage, good offense. The questions of the comes evidence just that epigenetic understanding of violence are necessary to grease the new materials that they call for the black female flesh argument will be answered in the gender debate. Go to George Jackson. George Jackson, group it all first. Small part of the app. It's not the best argument, but it's key because the app is largely a compilation of black women's scholarship like Keen Gums, for example. They double turn all their offense because the app is an example of understanding Jackson's omission through lenses 
thousands of scholarships like McDougal, which answers to all their arguments because their overemphasis on this card crowds out the black female scholarship that was present throughout the entirety of the one MC and proven in the last speech when they said that the only authors who you read were things like Winter or Wilderson. That is not fucking true on base because we've read a scholarship from black women who have engaged with questions of Fuller's, which also answers all of their wonder arguments about why we have like inconsistencies with our method because all the cards you read on the context of the other ones and scholarship that works with each other. Now the second one, even if I win, a, even if I lose the above, the only Jackson stuff that we have talked about is the analysis, is the analysis from his omission from Delucy, which why he's writing, and then that sort of omission is indicative of an undocumentable and documentable aspect of black life that changes how Jack, that was changing how blackness operates via the affirmative changes to how blackness has been conceived internationally, which is why black imagined capacity is a good thing. Now, lastly, the McDougal evidence is uh, specifically important because it's a black woman that independently necessary means that it's uh, being acted to correct it to the way in which Jack expectation has been omitted in the status quo access. That answers the double turn arguments and also proves that we don't ignore forms of intimate violence because it's uh, not a question of defending things like perfect source, but rather acting as a correct way of literature has been violated in the status quo. The gender debate, Korean and Bay is fantastic. We talk about the way that black feminism as a whole assumes black cis womanhood and ignores black trans. Your evidence about saying her name being trans inclusive proves our argument about adding trans is on and trying to then include trans in different movements. That sort of continuously fails because they never think enough about how the category of women itself is a failure, which is a disad to all their cast and material offense because ignores the biological authenticity that's enacted now. That also means you cannot prefer the racial rape evidence because we've already sort of assumed the offense from the 1AC and the Green and Bay evidence all talks about the ways in which the ontologization of black women, female flesh, and the status quo allows for the forms of violence that they have criticized. All of our understandings of blood logistics are key to understand the internal links between why that violence happens in the first place. The non-consensual taking and extraction of blood allows us to analyze the way in which racial rape has been used internationally on a global scale. Solvency evidence from the street speech itself proves that we access a better method than they do. We have seven twenty.
it'll be frame subtraction. Everyone ready? Uh, sorry, Nate, I didn't see if you were. I'm, I'm sorry, could you give me the order one more time? Yeah, it's frame subtraction. Word, I'm good. Okay. Frame subtraction solves the entire app while avoiding racial rape. The impact on its own outweighs the case. Even if they win the theory debate, you can kick it, the, uh, you can kick the all fours and vote negative on racial rape outweighs. Our James 13 evidence thus comparative impact framing it is better than any impact comparison card they will read till society was birthed through trauma that lives on through generations to this day. Racial rape is an act of war in and of itself because, it con because the contours of civil society are defined by the uh, colonization of wounds. It creates the conditions for colonization, slavery, genocide, and today's imperialist conquest through reproductive labor. And our argument is that they folded the analytic racial rape into the analytic racial, uh, into the analytic racial capital through over folks, uh, through over focus on instances of spectacular, uh, spectacularized killings by the state and ignore the ways in which, uh, the ways in which intimate, uh, the ways in which intimate violence uniquely uh, uh, constitutes, uh, uh, constitutes uh, the positionality of the capital maternal as the fulcrum of, uh, as the fulcrum of civil society. This is a pretty easy to make because all of the arguments about why the case is good or non uh, are non sequiturs. When we're already oh, we're winning that the alternatives to pick, they have no picks bad theory. They just have competing alternatives. Uh, they just have competing alternatives centered in the one AR. Our interpretation of uh, the uh, frame subtraction meets this interpretation because we think that the alternatives are, uh, as a frame subtraction is a pick out of the uh, as a pick out of the uh, as a pick out of the parts of the affirmative that we just uh, that we disagree with, which means that the entire uh, which means that you can endorse the entire rest of the affirmative without the pick, uh, without the parts that we uh, without the parts that we've isolated as uh, with other parts that we've isolated as bad. They said that competing uh, alternatives is better to uh, is better to uh, is better to inform movements. There's no reason why we need to energy or prevent, uh, or prevent movements from forming. However, we identify problematic parts that cause forms of violence within movements and, uh, and battle fatigue, which was conceded from, uh, which was conceded from the blog. They we've internal link to their battle fatigue arguments because if uh, our argument is that without nuanced testing about the specificities of how violence manifests within their alternative, this forces us to ex uh, extreme uh, it forces us to extreme and generic exclusion uh, exclusionary impact. That are not able, uh, that are not uh, that are not able to consider uh, for a uh, form of the, uh, form of their forms of organiza uh, organization absent the uh, parts that are uh, absent the parts of their violent, which is uh, which is worse for organizing and, ca and cause their battle fatigue internally. Like only our model of, uh, of in-depth nuance testing and uh, uh, picking out of the parts that we find violent is necessary is necessary to allow for modes of organizing while solving the for uh, while solving the forms of violence that cause battle fatigue for different bodies that their uh, that their theorization doesn't isolate. They've dropped. Uh, uh, they, they, they've, dropped, uh, they've dropped the uh, condition, uh, conditionality in two and our consolidation is good. The app is conditional and uniquely justifies this. It can take the growth, new materials and a K of blood banks beginning in World War II, a Jackson K of new materials based on Audrey Lord's take on war, a university K, a king take on vandalizing statue of Columbus, a gum take on Winterian re-narrativization as rupture about the Volumbo's cave paintings where uh, where, uh, where, uh, where the paintings, uh, we don't know if it's blood or uh, uh, blood or paint, which is different from Grove's discussion of blood, a McDougal card about George Jackson and Foucault, an Afro-pessimism K that talks about African symbiotics and a king card about self-care, random a copy and paste Google images and a plan text would draw blood oaths. If any of this sounded like word salad to you, that's a reason why this is uniquely justified because the affirmative is not a, uh, is not a coherent strategy, but it's rather a compilation of the greatest hits, uh, greatest hits of the way. Almost none of the apps is internally consistent and creates 10 different two ERs that move off and so we get on one. We should definitely get conditional, uh, conditional frames. Our interpretation is that the negative burden is to negate any of the ass frames. This debate is only a question of the value of what they did in the moments that we critique the role of the judge to be an evaluator of frames. The purpose of the ballot is to identify places for improvement and refinement and not yeah, yes, no choice about overarching desirability. This, uh, uh, anything else makes it impossible to be negative in a world of critical debate because the app will always have something new in the 2 ac Now, we've defended that picks are good. First, uh, pra uh, practice critiques of frame are necessary because nuance testing is a better model of engagement that, uh, that allows for direct and nuanced criticism of the scholarship that uh, can include, uh, that uh, 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 only their interpretation allows those problematic elements to go unchecked. Second is, uh, uh, as, uh, as second is that it's fair. They chose the 1AC and 2AC. They should defend it. There's no reason why, uh, there's no reason why allowing, uh, uh, why allowing the, in, uh, the infinite things that could be critiqued about the app to remain problematic in the ass organizing is good, especially if they're winning the argument that, uh, that voting affirmative sins a signal to have room that endorses all 
all of the parts of the affirmative, which is the reason why frames attraction is unique uh, is, is uniquely good. They try, uh, they, they, they try, uh, I'm, uh, the only link that I'm going for is to say their uh, the say their name link, which was dropped in the one AR figure five. And the one he sees a picture of a sign that uh, deploys, say their name, extend the font evidence that actually detracts focus from violence experience by black women and dilutes the purpose of say her name by calling for increased focus on the deaths of black cis men. There are uh, there are uh, there are arguments that we uh, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that we're in support of say her name is false. We're not uh, uh, we're, uh, we're not an endorsement of say her name as a as a generic strategy, but rather a pick out of the deployment and inclusion of say their names as a response to say her name to focus on the uh, deaths uh, on the deaths of black uh, on the black men as victims of police violence, which necessarily occludes the fr uh, frame of racial rape and falls racial rape to the category of racial suffering. That our impact uh, that's our impact uh, that's our impact analysis, which means that the green uh, the green and, uh, the green and bay card doesn't apply and also links harder to them because it means that their deployment of uh, say, uh, say their names uh, reifies that conceptual uh, that conceptualization uh, conceptualization of cis gender uh, cis gender binaries, which means that rejection of that frame in the one AC should be sufficient to solve uh, to solve their offense. The rest of the one AC is consistent with the uh, with the green uh, with the green and bay evidence. We also don't over focus on uh, we, uh, we don't over focus on Jackson where criticism of the specific uh, the, the the Jackson link we're not even going for, but it was also a criticism of the specific deployment by McDougal. Their interpretation also seems that black women can never deploy violent, violent ideologies, which turns the case uh, by one, erasing how civil society forces the captain maternal into a caretaking role and is silence. That's our James evidence, and also uh, and also is in, uh, and also allows for uh, black women such as uh, Kamala, Harris, uh, Kamala Harris to do violent shit under the guise that because they're black women, it's necessarily a corrective to the violent way in which it was done in the past, which is just false. It's, uh, we also have extended evidence that our uh, that, uh, uh, we have also extended evidence that our criticism is not trans uh, is not transphobic because of the way uh, because of the way in which say her name necessarily focus uh, focuses on uh, 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 on victims of intimate violence who are uh, uh, intimate violence who are trans that are included under say their names. I got three twenty. Run it.
All righty. It shall be the case and then subtraction. Yep, case and subtraction. Let's get it. Coolio, coolio. Nate, are you Gucci? Coolio, coolio. That is Discord. <clears throat> you should vote affirmative to graffiti the U.S. alliance system with pay made to look like blood. That's the key to a practice of writing that allows for students to submit to an attempt to confront language practices outside their own memory and education. That's why we're the collection of braces. We're about trying to find things outside of our own literature base and finding different modes of understanding throughout education. That's why the affirmative uses pictures, poetry, and evidence to move away from and mock the purely textual debate format that limits the creative ability of black bears. That performative aspect is important to remember because it allows for you to be guided by the radical desires that are shown through the 1AC's graffiti. The blooding of debate is an important moment of semiotic disruption because it brings attention to the blood, sweat, and tears that black bears have to dedicate and sign away when they enter into this activity. Remember the smile from the NATO soldier in the first cursed image. We use the cursed images on the way see to introduce our reading of NATO members as actors thirsty for blood and our grove evidence went the extra mile to explain how the U.S. uses blood to solidify its own military power. A stable U.S. ally blood supply means that the U.S. can deploy more soldiers to extract more blood and are given the flexibility to recreate horror globally, which ensures psychological violence. Now, I really don't think that the 2NR talked about blood at all in the 2NR, so I think that you should have a high threshold for, for the for the K outweighing. So, first of all, you should look at the biggest impact in this debate is Black Psychic Health. It outweighs on time frame and probability because niggas are dying now and those deaths only act to modulate and supercharge the psychological impacts to anti-blackness. The battle fatigue impact guarantees that their model of debate will be straight up exhausting. This means that political activism fails because there's no energy for anybody to change anything inside or outside of debate. That means that the exhaustion that happens as a result of the subtraction should be prioritized over their impact. Now, the Jackson evidence was conceded throughout the entirety of the debate. Don't allow any of this to an our extrapolation. And it means that if I win often to the communicative forms of capitalism that access the root cause of their impacts, it means that we are winning an internal link to how capitalism operates in the status quo and, and the legislative system create a communicative form of capital anti-black violence that place black folk on the same register as the horses, household items, and cattle that allowed for reproduction of violence in the form of communicative capital as black flesh became a commodity to be sold and traded internationally. Any reason we win the street speech portion of the affirmative as a motive semiotic disruption means you vote F because it solves the internal link to all their qualms with 1AC and disrupts the way that grammar functions in the status quo. It means that their offense about their and uh, say their, their, their names link is automatically disrupted at a grammatical level and 1% risk of uh, that we win solvency for community forms of capitalism. It solves all their offense. It means you vote F because we're the only team with an uncontested method of resistance. Now let's talk about uh, let, let's talk about this frame subtraction stuff. Prefer our interpretation that the negative should have either def defended the status quo or presented a competing alternative. Now, this is important because the one in R was clear that the K had no alternative, which means it is a framework argument and under uh, and their articulation of it as a pick is pretty shifty as fuck. And don't hold the uh, peers responsible for the lack of pick theory because they went for an unpredictable two in R that doesn't uh, trust the way in which they are able to constantly shift how they explain what frame subtraction is supposed to be in the first place. First, they explained it as a dissent to the way in which we presented different frames of our method. And now, and, and, and now they're presenting it as an alternative in which they are taking away those specific frames. Now that is pretty fucked up and it explodes the limits of the debate because it leads to late breaking debates where they can constantly shift how they're able to articulate how their alternative is able to function or how their framework argument is supposed to function. But let me go to some more line by line proper here. First of all, the racial rape debate should be filtered through the ledger system question at the top. First of all, they've conceded that the ledger system reduced black people uh, 
uh, black people within themselves and, and, and specifically in the hold when people, they would try and document black people they would only uh, they would erase the gender by, by making it so that black people were only to be reduced as a ditto in which there which causes the constant repetition of violence now now uh do, 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 do. already did all that pick stuff cool 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 yeah, all I have to do is talk shit about this link. Uh, this link here. First of all, the say uh, I'm I'm going for the Green and Bay offense because they really haven't answered the warrants of the argument. It's not productive to simply add transgender women to the category of women without thinking through the ways that trans women force us to consider the category of women as a failure. Their understanding of the cabinet material is still invested in a kind of analysis that speaks for Black women and still embraces a neoliberal mode of diversity that simply adds Black trans, uh, trans women into say her name and stirs Green and Bay is fantastic. Fantastic and talks about the way that black feminism as a whole assumes black cis womanhood and ignores black transness. Their evidence about Sarah Name being trans includes approved our argument about adding transness on and trying to include transness into different movement that continuously fails because they never think enough about how the category of woman itself is a failure, which is a disadd to all their captive maternal offense because it ignores the biological authenticity that happens now. The, the, all the work they do is say that they're not an endorsement of say their name and their deployment. Uh, and just talking about the way in which we talk about say their name, but their uh, investment in the word there is our our problem with the way in which grammar functions in the status quo, in which you're able to isolate on specific things and identify a, by a, a biological identifier or kind of signify, uh, signifying a certain uh, gender property. That in itself is violent because it leads to different targeting on how exactly uh, you're, you're supposed to do violent shit. Now the Kamala Harris shit is an independent fucking reason to reject them because it shows how they're able to fucking weaponize different black women against us and then they are able to talk shit about black women but still be able to speak for them that's fucking a protectionist and anti-black as shit good debate good debate good debate good debate
Uh, did any of the other judges see the same thing that I saw? Because I don't, I see all judges have voted, but it doesn't show me a decision. Oh, my fault, Brian. Okay, Brian's announcing it. All right. While uh, while we're waiting for Brian to come to announce, do we have um, seniors in this debate? Yeah, I'm not coming back next year. So Carrick and Zach, okay. Our seniors are Carrick and Zach. That's what we were talking about. Maybe after we announce the decision, we could just applaud for a second because I really want to kind of bring back the like honoring seniors of their last debate thing. It made me sad at the NDT in the debates where that didn't happen. And I feel like it's a really real thing. Okay, I'll make small talk. Has everyone had a good seat? I cried at awards. It's been a good seat. I think the the gather thing is maybe like my favorite part about all this tournament. <laughs> like having these little Pokemon simulators, which is great. Hey, it's gone, everybody. It looks like we've got everyone. Um, Thank you all for letting us live stream a fantastic debate um, and for bringing so much great debate in the Sweet 16 of the 2021 Senior National Championship. Uh, the winner on a 3-0 decision is Texas. Congratulations, y'all. I'll turn it over to the panel. Great work. Congrats, Karen. Congrats, Emporia. Y'all are amazing. Um, I want to ask, do y'all want to hear decisions? Would that be helpful for you? Nico, I know it might be helpful for you later in your career, but I also want to ask. Uh, I'm, I'm good to hear them if Eric is. Um... I did not hear what Nico just said, actually. Sorry. I'm, I'm just cool if you want to hear him. And if you don't yeah, know, that's fine. We can't run through them. I mean... I should probably know. Did you want to start, Taylor? Uh, sure, I can start. You said you do want to hear, Carrick? Okay, first of all, before I give the decision, I really do, I said this to you at the NDT also, but I really do want to emphasize that I'm so appreciative of what you've brought into debate. Like, I feel like Emporia, you all have been doing such creative, interesting shit, you know, challenging the norms of what people imagine scholarship can be. And I think this AF, although fucking weird, is really fucking cool and interesting and doing a lot of things that provoke the boundaries of what people have considered to be argumentation. So I really want to honor you for that and for what you've brought um, to competition. Um, this debate is really confusing for me to adjudicate by the end. I took forever to decide because I guess I'll walk you all. T the TLDR on my decision is that I don't think that the AF has a strong enough impact that turns and outweighs this pig argument that the NEG has gone for by the end of the debate nor do I think the AF has done enough theoretically to justify rejecting the pick argument and kind of getting out of the negatives framing in the 2NR, which I think is really effective in this round. I'll walk you through it. Um, 
I think that by the end of the debate, it's clear that the app does a thing to text, and that becomes important to me later. But for me, a lot of the 2AR feels new, and I find myself really like feeling the 2NR on this argument that this is the only way that the negative can generate effective competition is through this weird frame subtraction. I've never judged frame subtraction before. I thought it was just a meme that existed out in the wilds of debate, but I think it was pretty well executed in this round. And now I can see why people are winning debates on these arguments. Um, I thought that the 2AR answer to frame subtraction is not really responsive to the way that, to, like on the theory debate, to the way that the 2NR has situated the theory stuff, other than this battle fatigue impact that I think that the 2NR has preempted by saying that it's crucial to test possible issues with the AF now or else those get reproduced onto others as the AF is enacted later. And for me, I end up finding that argument really persuasive because of the nature of the internal link scenario that they've gone for. Um, I think that the 2NR does a bit clearer impact calculus than the AF that leads me to believe that if I decide that there's a link, which is the thing I'm putting off the whole time I'm making this decision, if I decide that there's a strong link, an internal link, then I think that the 2NR is pretty much ahead by extending this James evidence about how racial rape turns and outweighs the AF that I think effectively gets the affirmative out of the frame that you all are going for in the 2AR, which is about communicative capitalism. And I think you would have to do a lot more impact work in order to explain to me why, yeah, why racial rape is already accommodated perhaps within that frame or, um, you know, perhaps, uh, yeah, I don't know what, how you, the way that you rupture the, the text of communicative capitalism that gets you out of this argument. And I'll talk about that more in a second. Um, the 2NR link argument is about, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm really trying to find, uh, okay, is about say their names. Um, I think this has been impacted out pretty well um, by the negative. They seem to be arguing that say her name crowds out black women, um, which crowds out the frame of racial rape, it means it's occluded and enfolded into the form of racial capitalism. And that provides basically the basis for anti-black violence. I think the AF has maybe a disad to say her name, which is sort of what the NIG is defending, but also sort of not. And I really wish that in this debate, the AF had an a, an affirmative argument about why say their name is important because in that case I feel like it would be like that one that I could really hang my hat on because in that case I feel like it'd be a lot easier for me to vote AF but you know and I think that the disad to say her name is developed in a sort of confusing way um and I really wish that in you know instead of that I really wish that you just defended say their names and you were like this is not a stealing of Black women or of Black women's experiences. This is instead talking about Black non-binary people. It also exposes intimate forms of violence that they experience that are in fact erased from the public sphere and also frequently erased from the private sphere, troubles your frame of racial rape. And then I feel like I would just be, you know, it'd be very easy for me to vote affirmative on this argument. Um, and I feel like that's where you're trying to get, but I'm having trouble kind of lining up the arguments in the 1AR and the 2AR in a way that would allow me to justify voting in that direction. Although I do think that that would be really persuasive here because like, I think your impulse is right. You, you know, I just don't think it's been executed in the rebuttals of this round. Um, uh, and I, and then um, basically my decision comes down to, I don't think that the 2AR has sufficient impact calculus or theoretical work on the question of Black gender in a way that I think rises to the level of the 2NR. And so I end up defaulting to the 2NR's frame, and I think that their link argument seems more or less accurate based on what has happened in the round. Um, and then with the text stuff, I think about this, it's almost like it's a permutation that you're like, the AF can rupture the semiotic coherence of things. And like, I'm with you. I just don't know what it means about the role that racial rape plays 
in the construction of black gender, which is why I feel like it would be helpful for me to have a little bit more time spent, well, a substantive amount more time spent on kind of developing your defense of there as pronoun instead of there as departure from black woman. You know, it's like collapsing black non-binary people in with like some version of manhood that occludes black women. I just think that that's where you're trying to generate dissats too with the Bay and Green stuff. And I think you have to go a little bit further. And that card is way too long and I cut it. And so I apologize that it has circulated this far in debate and that it's that long. Um, but yeah, that's that's mainly my thoughts. Um, I, I think first, I just want to say um, congratulations on a great career. Um, I've gotten to judge you a lot over the years, and it's been a real pleasure. Um, I want to echo what Taylor said about um, just creativity, um, you know, just um, the intellectual courage to try things that other people aren't doing. Um, just congratulations. I think you should be really proud of yourself. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I judged you all earlier in the season in a debate, this, this same set of teams on the same sides. Um, and that was a good debate. This was a fantastic debate. This is one of the best debates I've judged all year. I thought just from both the intellectual depth of the debate to the, um, the narrative organization, it was extremely easy to follow. Um, which is not always the case in KVK debates. And I, I was really impressed. There are a lot of brilliant tactical moves here. Um, I think I think for me, the decision is not very different from Taylor's. Um, I think the argument I'm having a hard time getting past on the, the frame subtraction debate is that the battle fatigue is inevitable if we don't have frame subtraction because you get pushed out to the margins. There are these tactical conversations don't happen. And so that battle fatigue happens both in the debate in the sense of being forced to defend positions that you don't really want to defend because they're so extreme and in politics in the sense that tactical choices aren't really made. So to the extent that the debate can be said to spill out and neither team is really saying that, but to the extent that it can be said to um, tactically, um, I think that frame subtraction is a, is a better way to produce revolutionary education. Um, so those two arguments for me um, make it hard for the um, affirmative to win its best offense against frame subtraction. Um, I, I'm empathetic because the negative stance in the 2NC was a little bit unclear about whether or not it was a pick, but I did have them explaining what it meant um, enough. Um, and and I, I kind of wish that you all had had a, a little bit more of a cross X about that. Um, cause I think that could have been a place where, um, where you could have made things really complicated for them as far as what kind of alternative they have. And then in turn, leveraging Bay and Green would be even easier. Um, I thought that Bay and Green was the right place to go in this 2AR. Um, but I think you probably should have by the 2AR gone all in there and, and really talked about some of the texture. So for example, a phraseology from the negative that I was becoming a little bit concerned about by the end of the debate, was specifically the phrase black female flesh, because what you're doing there is not describing um, a, a sort of social script that's being produced in the sense of feminization, meaning the care economy and a set of political economic roles that are played by a group of people. You're describing an embodied condition and therefore you're starting to push more towards what Green and Bay are talking about, if that makes sense. Um, and that's a discourse that, um, I'd have to look more closely. I honestly can't remember if the specific phraseology of black female flesh is something that that James uses. I would just lean into captive maternal or um, black matrix as language. I think that's a lot easier to defend. Um, and I think that the James and 21 card which you read, I think is pretty good, um, supports that sort of phraseology a little bit better. Um, the issue for me with, with Green and Bay, similar, uh, I think to Taylor is just that, so, Disruptive, disruption and communicative capitalism, I wholly agree. Um, thought, you know, in a, the abstract there's potential there, but in this particular debate, I'm just not quite sure how that operates vis-a-vis -vis the, the link. Um, could be a winning 2AR um, if it's grounded more in the 2AC and the 1AR, and that's, you know, just an impact turn on that link that you need to explain kind of how you do that. Um, but but by, the, by the 2AR, I thought Green and Bay maybe just by itself was the, was the strategy. Um, as far as Green and Bay itself is concerned, um, I think you know uh, I think you need to defend 
the, the sort of answer the uniqueness argument that the negative is making about say their name being a move to distract from say her name and therefore refocusing discourse on black cis mas masculinity. Um, and I think that they're winning essentially by the end of the debate that the app doesn't really, that the shift from say her name to say their name doesn't really solve uh, the offense from Green and Bay because what it will do functionally is just reposition violence against black cis men. And then from that point, um, I certainly, by the end of the debate, I thought you all did a pretty good job of answering this, this Jackson link. And I didn't you know, evaluate the arguments they were making by the end of the debate as a link to Jackson, but they do have a pretty persuasive argument that in the context of revolutionary politics, if the attention is refocused on black cis men, then re the revolution won't be successful because it will constantly involve the sidelining of uh, a feminized care position that um that is never accounted for or taken into consideration um and so for me that was less a link and more just an impact framing kind of argument um and that that's coupled with what i think is a pretty good piece of james impact evidence um i thought the effort to use jackson um to make an argument about ungendering was was really smart in the 2ar and i thought that was a, a clever move um, but i just think that the evidence has to be just a little bit better to get you to that point um and i do think their card is, is really quite good um all that said, um, I thought it was, you know, again, a great debate. Um, I thought that there, a lot of these moves in the 2AR were really smart. I thought there were a lot of really smart 1AR moves as well to come back from some some offense that that was pretty tricky earlier in the debate. Um, and I, I'll say, I think negative, um, you know, I think I, I don't, Texas, I don't think I would have gone for for this link in the 2NR. Um, I thought new materialism was was really getting somewhere. Um, and I also thought presumption, to be honest, for me, was 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 a little bit more persuasive. Um, I thought the argument that um, the Sexton evidence that blackness is sort of pre-linguistic and therefore that their method of using blackness to disrupt communicative capitalism itself assumed this equilibrium, disequilibrium, you know, move back to equilibrium narrative that your Wilderson evidence is talking about in a sort of linguistic frame that, that Sexton's criticizing. So um, I thought those two those two things were were potentially better to an ours, but um, but you executed it. Um, and yeah, congratulations. Good, great debate again, everybody. Uh, I won't take too long because I think Sean and Tay said it better than I could have ever. But just to say, Carrick, I know we've we've known each other a little bit since high school and we've debated against each other. And now it, it's been an absolute pleasure to judge you and to debate against you. And I'm so happy that, you know, I was able to have that opportunity, um, always pushing the boundaries, always creating some crazy ass argumentation that I, I fucking love that shit. So I love the career that you had and I'm, I'm super appreciative that I had this opportunity to judge you. Anyways, um, also to what one thing really quick, this to kind of echo what Tay said before I get into the substance of the decision, um, I had also seen this frame subtraction shit as basically like a Texas meme. And like, I was fully expecting it to be such a meme, but it was actually like profoundly well done. And I thought it was a fantastic negative strategy that I haven't seen that I didn't even like it kind of consider going in that direction. I really just love kind of like the pick out of multiple positions. Um, and I just really, really liked a, a lot of it. So with that being said, um, I vote negative. Yeah, I think the kind of frame subtraction stuff solves most, if not the entirety of the affirmative. I don't really think that the affirmative has particularly won much offense to kind of the components that the neg has picked out of, which means I don't really know why the app is preferable to the neg's framework. I think kind of the use of say their name um, neglects a particular type of analysis on the types of violence that occurs to black women. And while I do think that the app is winning some risk of a link that this is kind of transphobic as per the screen and they, evidence. I don't think that this argument is kind of impacted and now uh, impacted out enough for me to think that it outweighs the link, especially given the context of the racial rape impact calculus. Um, also, I don't really fully understand how focusing on the specificity of violence done to black women is necessarily transphobic, although I do understand how kind of folding black women into the category of the human may in and of itself be a violence discursive act. Um, I think that the AF is just kind of behind on the theory framework kind of alternative debate, which makes, you know, an AF ballot uh, difficult for me, especially when the negative kind of goes uh, for the pick and the, the way that they have done it. Um, I do agree with the other judges as well in the sense that I really don't think the negative, and what gives me the most pause is I just really don't think that this is the link 
that it, to, to hinge the entire 2NR on this one link, I'm not sure if it's the most strategic option. Um, I think the new materialism stuff was relatively compelling. I'm not sure if the Jackson stuff was all that compelling to me, but but kind of arguments like that, even the presumption and the, the especially the one in our case turns on the Wilderson stuff, I thought were pr particularly persuasive and I thought could have made the two and R just a little bit uh, more compelling. But anyways, with that said, I will shut up. It was a fantastic debate. So I'll open it up to any questions or concerns. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, thanks everybody and good luck Texas in your next debate. Yep. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for what you said. That means a lot. Um, it's been great to get to know everybody. Uh, I actually do have like a question um, for the 1AR. Uh, what do you think, I guess, do you think a better strategy would have been to kind of do away with like the excess stuff and just like kind of frame everything and filter everything through the Green and Bay evidence so that I can spend more time like working through the warrants of that and then kind of weigh that against like the offense that they could go for? Um, go ahead. Um, yeah. I think, I think a little bit, yes. I think a thing I, I've been trying to think about, about how to answer this frame subtraction stuff, because I'm so with you all that it's like totally fucked. Um, I mean, but brilliantly executed, but I also really feel what the app is trying to put down. Um, would be to think about the AF's relationship to something like standpoint epistemology almost, because it's like what they're doing is functionally saying that they can move not just through different theories of power, not just through, but that they can in effect move from different standpoints, right? That's to me kind of what a frame is and what that cross X was trying to get at. And I think it almost might be useful to develop an impact turn to the form that the strategy takes itself rather than a theory argument about why picks are, are bad or maybe coupled in with your theory arguments that you're trying to make about why this shit is abusive. I feel like that would have been, even if you can couple it with the Green and Bay stuff to provide a standpoint, I feel like that would be really fucking helpful for me. You know, that's like the AF encounters knowledge and thinks about knowledge in this way. And what the negative is doing evacuates that position or failure of position or whatever, you know, like I'm thinking about when Moten is like, blackness is the standpoint that's no standpoint and every standpoint, like something like that would be helpful for me because I feel like it would generate offense against the form of the argument and against the, you know, basically two of the potential picks that they could go for. So I, yeah, I, I think, yes, TLDR, I think you need a way more robust explanation of how the AF thinks black gender. Um, and then the last question would just be like, do you have a suggestion for how we can better have dealt, how we could have better dealt with the like presumption stuff, I guess? Um, I think you, I, I think I would have just gone, even just kind of removed focus from blood by that point in the debate and just gone all in on um, your arguments about graffiti. Um, I know they're all kind of entangled together, but I would have just been like, okay, what we're saying is the F uses graffiti that leads to energy that's key to solve battle fatigue. That's the presumption doesn't make sense. Um, and then they've, and I would have even moved away from the communicative capitalism stuff too. And just said like the, you know, signaling and tab room good. Um, right. send, circulate the graffiti judge. Um, yeah. And I think that would have been just like, okay, movements, movements, AF solve movements mean I vote AF. Awesome. Cool. Thanks again for everything that you've ever done. See you later. Congratulations. Good luck, Texas. Thank you so much. Congrats. Congrats.